Tango Papa Traffic Supermarine Golf, India Romeo Tango Yankee taking off runway 27 straight out departure. Today we're going to take a little jolly in the Spitfire at Perenthorf. The weather is appalling. As you can see, strong winds, cloud, rain. Let me just show you where we are. That's not the right tab. There we are. So this is Google Maps. And you can see the layout of this wartime airfield. Uh, a Spitfire base on the cliffs. Just to the southwest of Perrincoon, uh, a uh, place that I've stayed. We had a holiday there many years ago. And I'll just zoom out, it's on the north coast of Cornwall, in the far southwest of the UK. And in fact, Perrinporth Airfield changed hands about 30 years ago probably changed hands since after all I know but I noticed it because it went for about a million pounds can you imagine being able to buy the entire airfield for a million pounds I imagine the upkeep is, is, is excruciating I can't imagine it makes money however there is a flying club there this is the Perrinport Flying Club you can get lessons, microlights there is also a learn to drive circuit there. Uh, so we can just flip back to the main site. And it says learn to drive, not learn to fly, from 14 years and up. So they've converted part of the runway into a driving track. Looking at the history, there's ukairfields.org.uk slash parentporth. And this has pictures of all the buildings that are there. Loads of detail. And then Cornwall's War History has a page on Perrinporth. So, uh, there's a lot of detail here about how to fly Spitfires, which I was looking at earlier. Let's uh, look in, in the aircraft. Let's get back in the aircraft. Important controls, of course, are the throttle. Uh, this is the elevator trim, rudder trim. Uh, this is the propeller pitch, which needs to be forward in the fine position. Mixture control. Uh, it all looks very complicated, but it's quite simple. Uh, obviously, under carriage, these are the radio buttons. Uh, and uh, this is for pressurising the fuel system I believe with the wobble pump and uh, the landing gear that's enough of that let's just get going I'll take the brake off you can see the brake come off there we are hear it come off and <coughs> I'm going to select some flaps uh, I don't normally do that for taking off in this but we're going to open the throttle slowly and be ready for the gyro Shift. Keep the cross straight down the runway, it's not that easy. Keep the wind. As we climb up towards our good knots, and nicely up the runway. Gear up, flaps up. And speed is climbing nicely. Revs to the optimum climb rate, and we have 1500. So we're going to turn out to sea, and because it's a Spitfire, we just have to do some aerobatics. Although <laughs> you can't really see what's going on. Look at that horrible sucked in. Oh, the horizon's vaguely over there. Let's just try a roll. Those on the horizon line. Uh, top and switch the rudder, that's it. That's one. 
that better than last time. Into some clear air. Climb some more. Let's do a barrel roll. Dive some speed. Pull it up and start to come over. And go all the way around. See, we've got 2,000 feet, so I'm going to climb a little, and then we'll do a loop in this clear air while we've got it. So, 3,000 feet should be enough. It's not really a safe height, but get the speed up. Pull, it down. Pull around gently. Up. back towards the coast. I can figure out which way the coast is. That should be it. And if my seat of the pants navigation skills are not too far off, the airfield should be along to our southwest. So let's just go and see if we can find the airfield. some kind of a base down there, I'm not sure where it is. Oh, there's the airfield. So we'll lose some, lose some airspeed and line up for a landing. We buffed it around quite a lot. I much prefer to fly where everything is based on judgement rather than the instruments. So, make a final approach. See if I can make this a smooth landing. It's a slight crosswind. see the runway in the final stages of the approach. So just to get the line get yourself lined up properly. Okay. Uh, so I find myself off the centre line. I have to do a quick fix. Hold off. Hold off. Hold off. Uh, 
trying not to get thrown right off of the runway, which we are doing. That's sort of controlled. Well, <laughs> apart from the last bit, it wasn't a bad landing. There we are, more or less on the runway. Let's uh, taxi on down and have a look at the scenery. Oh! very difficult. To, in fact, I shouldn't really be flying in this wind at all. Never mind. We can look at the scenery from here. Round behind us. There's the control tower. A light aircraft. Looks like a Cessna. A fuel truck. And behind the fuel truck there's some people sitting out watching the flying. So I think that, I think that will do. Let's go back into the cockpit and shut the engines out park here, it's a convenient place. So, just the mixture to full lean, and the engine should stop nicely. I'll turn the magnetos off. There we are. That's it. Thanks for watching.